It's finally, finally here. I have been sitting around waiting for weeks and specifically today, I waited around all day. It is now 9.45 p.m. I'm walking into the office now to get set up. Finally, after waiting all day. In the time that I wasted today just sitting around doing nothing, just waiting for my delivery, I decided it was probably a good idea to clean up a little bit because for the last several weeks I've been coming in here throwing stuff down, grabbing things, and just leaving a mess in my wake. So I finally came in and, and cleaned up, tidied up a little bit. And look at this. Okay, this is from my buddy John over at Brassworks, the guy who makes all those custom Swiss Army knives. He has custom shop rags. There was some other stuff in a box over here. Where is it? Just a little black box full of things. Stickers. I think that's a magnet. A pen. And a bead. So he sent some magnets, pens, stickers, beads, all sorts of stuff. Thanks, John. You're the best. I came up here to get my trusty cart because uh, this shipment was actually kind of heavy. So as you can see, the walk to my office is a pretty good walk. Uh, it's not bad, it's just if you've got anything with weight to it, you don't, you don't want to be carrying it in and out of here. So that's why this cart has been absolute clutch. So if the title of the video didn't give it away or the name on the box here hasn't already given it away, this is my new PC. And no, I know this is not EDC content and this is not a tech channel. I'm not switching to PC builds, but this right here is essential to what I do and I've needed a PC upgrade for years. I built my last PC about four years ago with the help of my subscribers. Then I built it on a live stream actually and they told me what to buy. It turned out to be a pretty good PC and I was going down that road again. I actually Scrapped the idea of getting an iMac fully loaded while I think that would have been fine. Uh, what I'm making video wise, it requires a lot of horsepower, right? Like I'm not doing just some over the shoulder cameras. I'm not just doing simple videos like they are simple, but I have three streams of 4K and the PC that I built four years ago, while it could handle one stream of 4K just fine, I shot everything in 1080p back then anyway, but one stream of 4K was okay. It could handle it. I switched to this MacBook. This has been my editing setup for pretty much all of this year. I switched over to the MacBook that I already had. I bought this MacBook years ago and switched over to this. Uh, and it's okay. It doesn't really handle it, but what I did is I applied a Band-Aid by getting an eGPU. This helps with the rendering, not with the editing. The editing is very CPU heavy. And the CPU in this is okay, it works, but it can't handle 4K footage. This handles the rendering okay, <laughs> just fine. A 16 minute video, one that I uploaded this week actually, took 45 minutes to render using this eGPU, which is not horrible, but it's not great. But this, it just can't handle the footage because I don't have just one 4K angle, I have three, and it stutters with one 4K angle. So what I have to do every single time I make a video is render that footage down to 720p. That's called a proxy file. It's the exact same footage, and it matches the 4K file exactly, so you can edit the 720p file, which is easier on the PC, or the computer, the CPU, and then when it's time to render, you can use the beefier eGPU, to render that footage at 4K. So that's the workaround that I've been doing. The problem with that workaround is that every single time I make a video, I have to render these proxies. Those proxies take sometimes four or five hours to render, which is not, <laughs> it's not practical, it's not ideal. And when I batch shoot three videos in one day, 
that's like 10 hours for proxies rendering, 10 to 12, sometimes more, just for proxies. And it just doesn't, it's not practical. So I set up the proxies to render and I leave and go home for the night. And they're sometimes finished when I get here. Sometimes there was an error that started, you know, three seconds after I walked out the door. And it's just been, it's been a massive pain. So I spent some money and got this. And fortunately, so I actually built, I bought all the components to build a PC and then I canceled. It was an order with Newegg. And I posted those specs on Instagram and I said, what are your thoughts? Should I do something different? I have this opportunity to just build something totally different. Should I go with what I've got or change speeds, change directions? And I posted that to my story. I didn't expect anybody to reach out, but NZXT reached out, someone who works there. They said, hey, I like what you're doing. Let me see if I can get anything for you, maybe a discount or something. And they did. They helped me with a discount. And I was going to build a PC. I typically would, but this build program from NZXT is actually really cool. They got me a little bit of a discount, which made it easier for me to afford this monster PC that I wanted to build. And it, it just kind of fell into place. So now I have this. I'm going to open this up and show you guys, talk about what's on it. And again, I know this is not a tech channel. I'm not <laughs> changing directions or pivoting, but this is something that is very, very essential to what I do. And me enjoying this editing process means that I'm probably going to make videos better, more frequently, and not be just bogged down with this or my old PC. I now have something that can handle the footage that I'm shooting, and I could not be more excited. I'm so grateful, thankful, and just thrilled to finally have something that's super powerful, and I want to show you what's inside the box. Kind of a big box. Probably the biggest box I've ever had to unbox. This is going to be the biggest unboxing yet. That's that's for sure. This is a big box. It's like 38 pounds, I think it is. Um, I'm going to open it with this thing. This is the Resolute X1. This was sent to me uh, pretty recently, I guess about a week, a week and a half ago. And this is a prototype of the Resolute X1. It's actually a Kickstarter campaign right now. Uh, pretty cool little utility knife. Two pieces. That's all there is to it other than the blade. And uh, I think it's pretty cool what they've done here. Um, if you want to know more about this thing, I will link it down below to the Kickstarter page. It's just a very simple utility knife that uh, I think is really, really neat. Super minimal. I mean, it's one of the smallest utility knives that I've ever held and has a nice little pocket clip. No bottle opener, which is actually something I'm fine with because you can use any flat surface on this to be a bottle opener. That's enough about this. Let's get inside this massive, massive box. Honestly, cannot wait for this. I've been waiting. I ordered this like three weeks ago, a month ago. I don't even know at this point. It's been a long time. I'm going to have to stand up. All right. So we got our specs right inside here. On the spec sheet, we've got the NZXT H510 Elite in white. CPU cooling. That is the NZXT Kraken Z63 with LCD display. We have motherboard ASRock X570 Tai Chi Wi-Fi. GPU is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 280 Ti. Then we also have a CPU. We have AMD Ryzen 9 3950X 16 core 3.5 gigahertz. Power supply is NCXT C1000 Gold. RAM, we have 32 gigabytes in the G-Skill Trident Z. RGB because you know obviously you need more RGB. Um, two, two SSDs in here. I have a Seagate Fire CUDA 520 and one terabyte, as well as an Intel 660p two terabyte. I did that because I wanted some more SSD without spending quite as much, and two terabytes is better than one terabyte for mass storage. Obviously, um, USB expansion services is what they charge for putting it together. That is what's inside here. Oh, we have a box inside of a box. I might have to cut the box to get this out. Let's go up on the side. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Ugh. Okay, we're back where we started. Ugh. Ugh. Thing's kind of tough to handle. All right, now we have another big box to open. Oh, and a paper clip. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. 
You guys have no idea how excited I am. No idea. I don't need to know how to hook up monitors or connect to the internet. The biggest fail I've ever had at opening a box. Possibly ever. There we go. We have progress. Oh my God. This thing is legit heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have it upside down too. Cool. <laughs> uh. I've never had a watered cooled PC before, so I'm excited for how quiet this thing's gonna be. Got to get all that packing stuff out of there too. Tempered glass. Is there only one thumb screw for this? Looks like it, just one. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. That's a whole lot of cords. Oh man, what does this go to? Uh oh. What is, like, uh, is that just a spare cord? Connect all cables before turning on. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do some assembly. Let me go do that, and then we're gonna take a look at this thing. All right, here we go. There was no assembly required. I was just not reading properly. Yeah, one more thing for the uh, the old unboxing. And first power on. Nothing. Cool. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> RGB RAM is the most extra thing ever. All right, we are booting up. I need some new monitors. But for now, this is the big thing. This is the, the important part. This, not nearly as important. The one thing I'm not sure about is I forgot to buy a mouse and keyboard. Uh, I love this mouse. This is an old MX Master. I had a friend pick this up from Best Buy for me today. But I forgot, or lost rather, the Bluetooth module for using this for the first time. So I don't know if plugging it in works. I don't think it does. Which means that I'm going to be without a mouse. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. Because I can't leave because the gates are locked here. And I want to get this thing set up before I go home. So that's not boding well. <laughs> I can use my keyboard to get through, but I cannot use my mouse. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Well, I got the mouse connected and got through setup, which I did just by tabbing through everything and you know, the typical way to get around not having a mouse, but there's another problem. Uh, it's not running properly because it needs to install drivers and download stuff from the internet and the Wi-Fi chip, but the Wi-Fi driver for this motherboard is not downloaded, it's not available. And the problem is, I don't have Ethernet here. The Ethernet is in my closet over there, and about, I don't know, 20 feet from this PC. And I don't have an Ethernet cord long enough to reach to be able to get Internet over here. This is why I'm here at uh, almost midnight working on this, because this is not the stuff I want to have to do while I'm trying to edit a video. So. Now I have to figure out how to get internet to this thing from over there without an ethernet cable. Life finds a way. So I have my little cart that I use for my second monitor for my, my video set. And <laughs> we're just going to plug this in 
roll it in there, plug it in right beside the, the router and do my updates in the closet and get the Wi-Fi portion enabled on the motherboard. I think, I think this is gonna work. I don't see why it shouldn't. It literally took two seconds. It, it powered on and the Wi-Fi module was enabled. That is so dumb. Now I have to go set this back up. <laughs> oh my God. As you can probably tell by the clothing change, it's a new day. Uh, I spent probably another three hours here last night just working on getting things downloaded and everything ready to go for today. Finally got everything squared away. I've got a few more things I need to fix and add. I got some games downloaded. I did have to go home and steal my mouse from my other computer because I'm having an issue with Bluetooth on this thing right now. Um, if you guys have any ideas as to what that may be, let me know in the comments down below. Basically what's happening is I have a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth headset, and they're both just stuttering, and they're unusable. It, the mouse just lags across the whole screen. Music is just nothing but just skipping and stuttering audio. It's unusable, and I don't know what it is. I've tried updating all the drivers and everything, so it is a serious Bluetooth issue, but I don't know how to fix it. But it's not that big of a problem because I don't necessarily need Bluetooth a ton on my computer. But anyway, without any further delay, here is the new PC, all set up and ready to go. There you have it. This is the brand new PC. Really, really fast. I did a test run last night with it using an old video that I've already edited. It was actually the video from earlier this week. I re-exported it and earlier in the week using the MacBook Pro and the eGPU, it took about 45 to 50 minutes to export. With this machine last night, it took 12 minutes to export that video. That is a 16 minute 4K video with graphics and color grading. It took 12 minutes to export and before it was taking me almost an hour. It is such a massive improvement and you guys probably don't think that's a huge improvement, but that's without having to render proxies first. So that already saves me several hours for every single video I make. And on top of that, Every time I make a mistake in rendering a video, so if I made an editing mistake and I need to fix it before I upload the video, that's an hour long mistake every single time. And about two weeks ago, I had to render the same video three or four times. I was done with work at like 1 p.m. And then I realized I made a mistake. I was about to walk out the door and I was looking at the video clip that I had rendered. It was no good. So I had to re-export it and then I made a mistake again and I had to re-export it. I was here until 8 p.m. that night. I was done with the video the first time at one. Now with this machine, if I made a mistake like that, that's a 10 to 15 minute mistake, and that's the thing. It doesn't compound nearly as fast. If I make a mistake, I can fix it quickly and still be out of here within like an hour versus having to sit here and wait and wait and wait for this same video to render again for a tiny little mistake. So that's the, the big, huge difference is no more proxies, faster rendering time, and no lag in the actual real-time editing, even with three 4K clips stacked on top of one another. I am so, so pumped. I know this is probably far more exciting for me than it is for you guys, uh, but basically it means less friction in making videos. Also, look at this real quick. This is really cool. This is a completely useless feature, but it is a feature nonetheless. If I go over here in my software, I can actually set a GIF for the logo on the display of the cooler. Nice. <laughs> so I was gonna use this one, my little intro clip, but it's it's not small enough, it's too big. Uh, and then there's one of Joe, one of my mods in the Discord server, the GIF of him that he posted and hates, so nice. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. If you can tell, I am super, super pumped. I'm so excited. There are also going to be some live streams that I do with this PC. I can play some games while live streaming, which I couldn't do before, so lots of new things coming from this channel and, and me in particular. 
thanks to this new PC. So thanks NZXT for the discount and helping out with that. And uh, if you are interested in this thing at all, checking out the Resolute X1. It is over in Kickstarter right now. I think the campaign ends on Monday, but it is linked down below. I think that's it for me today. I'm gonna go edit a video and play some video games later tonight after I put Eleanor to bed. I'm gonna come back and play some Red Dead Redemption 2. So thank you guys. Uh, none of this would be possible without you. I, I, I owe everything to you guys. You guys made that computer a thing for me, and I, I cannot thank you guys enough, so just thank you. If you if you like this, just hit the like button, subscribe, that's the best thing you can do, support. There's also some affiliate links in the description, but I'm not going to hit you with the normal stuff. Just thank you, and uh, I'll see you guys very, very soon.